after working with one of my students in class, I decided that um, there's some more stuff to be done with this image slider that would um, be helpful and uh, make it uh, more workable for you guys. Right now, when I hit um, Control Enter, you'll see that the image slider is working, right? But there's no image showing up here, and you have to click to make the images show up. And it's also kind of big, right? Like this would be maybe a full web page image slider, you know, big flash file. But um, oftentimes what you, you need is something that's a little more workable on some kind of web page, like let's say you have a, a web page built in HTML, and you just want a smaller um, image slider. So I'm going to show you how you would do that. So first of all, what I would do is, let's say I just wanted a smaller image slider to fit onto a web page but not be the whole web page. Well, I'll just click on this background here and um, I'll change the dimensions. So I'll change it to about, let's say, um, maybe I'll change it to 450 wide by 400 tall, right? And that's a bit smaller now, right? Um, you know, so now if I was hit Control Enter, you see, oh, it's a lot smaller, right? So this is going to be a, it would be a smaller web uh, page, and I'll put that here, and um, I need to get my other piece. Where's that? Oh, there it is. Okay, I use the arrows to that there. All right, and there's that. And I think I want to make it even smaller, so I'll change the size to, let's say, uh, 400 wide. And then for height, I'll make it, let's say, like 360. Okay, so that's even smaller. Now what I can do is I can take this um, image uh, slider piece, the one here on the bottom, and I'll get my Transform tool and hold down the Shift key, and I'm just going to scale it down so that it fits in this new sized um, box and fits, make it fit, you know, perfectly essentially, right? So there it is. Now I've tra used the transform tool, so it's a lot smaller. And now this um, other movie clip right here, this movie clip, if you remember correctly, that when you double click on it um, with the selection tool or the transform tool, and inside there's actually a red box. But I said the red, I set the red box's color to alpha zero, so you don't really see it. I'm going to turn that up a little bit just so we can see it. All right. And back to scene one. So there it is. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to shrink this also because right now if I hit control enter, there's my image slider. But when I click, the image comes in too big, right? So what I could do is I could also take my transform tool and I could just scale this down, right? Like that and then line it up at the top. And now if I hit Control Enter and I click, you'll see the image um, comes in at a much better size. Now one problem that's happening here though is that um, my image slider is underneath my image. So I'm going to fix that. Well first thing I do is I'm going to move this over a little bit to the left using my arrows on my keyboard, right? Just to kind of center it. All right, that's better. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my my image slider here at the bottom and cut it control X on your keyboard make a new layer and then edit paste in place which means paste in the same place and so now um, my image my image slider is on top of the actual images Okay, and then the next thing that I could do is, when you go to it, you don't want to see this red box or just an empty white space. So what I might do is go into my code, and you can see on the first line I have an on press handler function for um, one of the movies, but inside it says load movie medium 7. This is the first thumbnail that you can click on to load the image. I'm just going to copy this load movie line, copy, and I'll just put it in front of everything and not inside of a function. So this will basically execute first. So now when you go here, the first thing you see is the first image in the series. Okay. And um, obviously it helps if you have all your images sized correctly the way you want them. A lot of my images are not sized correctly. So when they open up, they're different widths. And so that can be a little bit um, 
frustrating. But as you can see, I can load my images now. And if they were the same width, they'd all be centered and whatnot. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. Now, the other thing that um, one of my other students talked about, it was, well, what if you have just the slider, you want just the slider and, and uh, not even the viewer, right? Like right now, our image holder movie clip is our kind of like our viewer, and then um, the slider just loads the image into this empty movie clip. Well, what if you just wanted the slider? Well, I'll show you what you could do with that. So what you could do is you could delete this, all right? And you could drag your piece here to the top, right? and then change the size of your document. I'm going to change it to 100 and maybe even smaller and change that to 90. Okay. All right. So now I'll show this at 100%. You can see that my um, I'm just going to have the slider with no holder. So now what do you do? All right, so now I've got just just this, right? And this would be like a little movie, little flash movie that could go into my HTML web page. But where do I load my images into? Well, you're going to just have to change the code. So what you do is you go to your code, and you say um, you can comment out this for comment out this first line, and you'll see here that instead of using the load movie um, function, I'm going to use load movie num capital N U M. So it's very similar, and I'm going to load medium7.jpg, but instead of into image holder, I'm just going to load it into a underscore blank window, which means a new browser window. And so I'll change this to load movie num, and put that into blank, and then um, I'll do it for the second one too, just so you can see, blank, right, load movie num load movie num and into blank okay the other thing you could do is let's say on the third image you don't want to load an image but you want to take it to a web page so I could say um, instead of load movie on the third image what I'll do is say get capital URL so it's capital U capital R capital L get URL and then you could put the path to your web page that you want to go to. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash danscourses dot com, right? And I could load that into a new browser window underscore blank. Okay? And so now if I hit control enter, you'll see that when I click on this first link, it's going to open up, it uh, opens up my image uh, in a fresh browser window, right? And then, let's see here, this one, one of these will also, this one will, takes me to Dan's courses. That was the get URL function. And you'll see here, it's coming in a second. There it is, danscourses.com. All right, it's loading in. Internet's a little slow, but oh well. Um, so anyway, that's how you do it. The load movie num will uh, lo you can load the image into a blank window or get URL will open up in a blank window in a new browser window a uh, website all right I hope this helps